This video was sponsored by Skin Store. Hello, welcome back. Howdy, my gentle humans. It's been a while since I've seen you. I wanted to bring just a really cozy video into your space because I've been not buying makeup. As you know, I'm on a whole year of not buying makeup. I'm also on this mini challenge, 30 days wearing the same bag, the same shoes, and the same makeup kit. Today, I am in a little different situation because I'm actually going on a photo shoot. More on my Instagram later, but today I wanted to bring you candles because A, they're great for gifting. B, I think it's quite difficult to see a candle and know what it smells like, um, obviously online. So I think they're just as useful, like these videos are just as useful as a fragrance review. I'm on a candle kick and a fragrance home coziness kick just because I've been not focused on makeup as much. This video is about gifts that you can get at skinstore.com. They not only by their name have a lot of great holiday gifts ranging from makeup and skincare, but also a lot of goodies that I think you might be interested in if you like candles and such. So I'm happy to talk about uh, what has come in the mail today. This is one of the brands that I've always kind of been hesitant on just to try because of the price point. My video today will be able to give you a 25% off discount on all things skinstore.com. So even if you're not really into um, candles right now and you wanna pick up something for yourself or for gifts, you still get 25% off. Before I get into the product, I have um, some higher end items. I also have ones that are just tried and true from good old Bath and Body Works. So I'm kind of going to go through my top five candles, cozy candles that you may have always wanted to try, that you have maybe been interested in but never pulled the trigger on. I'll also go through candles that are on my wish list still. Um, I'll also go through a couple of candles that were inspired by fragrances. For instance, I have a Tom Ford fragrance here that I loved so much. This was years ago um, that I had bought the candle for because I loved it. And then I turned it, you know, I used it up and I turned it into like a little receptacle for my makeup brushes and pens. Yeah, there's just a whole swath of fragrance talk today. I'm gonna keep it a little peppy. I don't want this to turn into a whole hour long video, so let's dive in. Since I already talked about this or kind of brought this up, I'm gonna start here. This is by Nest. It is a giant box because it is not only a candle, but it is a candle and reed diffuser set. Um, this is the Birchwood Pine flavor, the aroma of majestic winter forest. And I wanted to compare and contrast that with my favorite candle from White Barn Bath & Body Works, Fresh Balsam. I get this every single year. The smell is supposed to like spill out into your entire house, <laughs> not just the room, but the entire house. It has three wicks, so it really has a wonderful throw, as they call it. These are meant to be really present. It's very strong, and I would say that the notes aren't as nuanced. You can see this is well loved and they sell out all the time. So I really wanted to try this Birchwood Pine from Nest. Obviously they are a little bit different. They're both glass. I would use this not as a receptacle. So unfortunately after these are done, I just recycle them, get the wax out of them, recycle them. I don't keep them as like objects of art around my house, kind of like I do with diptyque candles and whatnot. Um, this seems all right. It's the packaging is, you know, in a glass thing. It has a little bit of verbiage on the bottom, but it's a single wick. I would say in comparison, a similar thing. I wouldn't say they're dupes. I think if you're familiar with Bath & Body Works or you are able to access <laughs> this fresh balsam candle and you're able to go in and smell it, I would say this has a lot stronger of a pine, fir, spruce, like that true up in the trees canopy scent. This, however, even though it's called birchwood pine, it is described as having white pine, fir balsam, and birchwood, but over a base of rich musk and amber, which means to me there's like an extra cozy factor. This feels really like I'm out in the woods, I'm staying warm on my own survival. This feels like there's a blanket of coziness first. Like that amber and that muskiness is going to envelop you 
have the feelings of like chestnuts roasting on an open fire, have the feeling of vanilla without those notes being present. So it's not overly sweet, but you can definitely sense that it has like a rounded quality to it. But on top of that, you get that freshness, almost like you just dragged a pine tree into your home or put up a new wreath, you know, and I haven't used this extensively yet, obviously. Um, I don't know how the throw is or how it fills a room, but I was so excited to see that it wasn't just the candle because it had the wreath diffuser. I have never owned or used one before, um, but I think it makes a good gift. They're great for bathrooms or basements or places that just need a really nice sprucing, a consistent sprucing um, without like a single origin scent that's just filling the room with like heated chemicals, essentially. This I think is a much more like low key and pretty refined looking way to scent your home without doing like a plug-in or something. So I had this whole uh, situation plan where I would just come in and very easily open this up and show you how I would put it out in my house. And of course, this bottle had different plans. Incredibly difficult to open. And I know that they had corked it in such a way so that it would not spill anywhere in transit. It wouldn't lose all of this valuable smelly liquid. So what I did do is that I used the tail end of my Tweezerman tweezers, leverage and cantilever this entire thing upwards enough. And you can hear as I'm twisting, it basically is making no headway to come up. So my hands are pretty tired from this. It's not a huge deal. I'm not trying to make this a dramatic thing. I'm just letting you know that this is probably gonna be a little bit of work as you do this, but I did want to finally uncork it on camera. There you go. Let's commence the uh, beautiful sequence. I was gonna come in like so, place this here like so, and then just show you. But yeah, that would be the situation. Et voila, that would be that. I did not get any on my hands, which is wonderful. <laughs> And I will say that it was very easy once it was out, <laughs> uncorked. Um, it has this lovely little quality to it, I think. Um, and it can brighten any space. I don't smell it from here yet. It'll take a little while to travel up the reeds and start making this house smell um, like it. And I'll report back if you want to know, uh, probably in the comments about how long these things last. I'm sure you can research it and see, but I am excited to have something that will make my house smell really fresh without watching a candle burn or having to light one every time I want a little spruce, aromatic spruce. I'm into this whole nest situation. I'm really interested in trying their pumpkin chai candle. I wish it wasn't bright orange. I will say that it just looks a little less luxe. Maybe I'm just, bougie like that, hoping for everything to have the same aesthetic that I care for. Obviously, green background, green candles. It just feels a little bit like you're actually taking the outdoors in. So you can get the Nest box set at skinstore.com. The other candle that I got from them, and thank you so much for this opportunity to talk about it. This is also a unique thing. It's by Sensori Plus, and this is an Australian brand. It comes with a really heavy metal lid. I love it when candles come with a lid. You can hear it kind of fall into place there because the one that comes with the Bath and Body Works one, it has like a little rubber ring to seal it. So you actually have to kind of press it into place. And I do use that to snuff out a candle. I don't think that I need like a candle snuffer or sometimes I blow it out, but it is so much easier to just pop it on, not have to worry about the smoke afterwards. So I do love it when candles come with that because it just seems really user-friendly. Um, but this one seems really luxe and it's heavy, it's metal. So I would potentially use this again, probably not keep the label on, but I love this green olive glass and this as like a little trinket box or something to the scent itself. This is called Gainda Orchard. And Gainda, as I understand it, is a small town, I think population like 2000 people. So I'm calling it a small town relatively in Australia, in Queensland. It also contains something that 
It is called Chloros Pure. And so it claims to be able to alight these molecules in the air. And these are these molecules are derived by, from plants. Oxidize and biochemically change any actual toxins in the air that may exist from your house to begin with. Neutralize them, take care of the malodor or the smells that actually are odorizing your house that you can't sense. Um, it could be from pets, it could be from dust, it could be from your radiator overheating with a little bit of like dust on it or just anything that you have in the house. This is able to throw some of these molecules into the air neutralize them, and then also on top of that have this wonderful citrusy scent. Actually neutralizes the smells and keeps a better smell. So it's not just a masking of smells and adding chemicals into the air, it is like a one-to-one -one, um, give and take ratio. So I thought that was pretty special. Um, it does, like I said, said, have lots of essential oils. So this to me is like a clean option. To me is a totally different scent profile. So if you were into the wintry scents, the like pine furs, all of that, and want the coziness, I would highly recommend the Nest. Um, but Sensory Plus does have a lot of other candles on skinstore.com. This one I chose just because it was different. It is mostly bergamot, which is like a citrus, like an Italian citrus fruit that's similar to oranges and lemons, like kind of right in the middle. And I'm literally reading the ingredients. It's not even just the scent profile. It's what is in here. Um, it does have Australian sandalwood, and these are all essential oils, ginger, bitter, orange, and limonene. So to me, those are all super citrusy, and actually oranges a winter fruit, which I think, especially living in the States, I'm in Milwaukee right now. We are so terribly blessed with fruit all year long. Like you can buy navel oranges any time of year and we've fallen out in some respects of the natural rhythms of when things are actually in season and whatnot. Um, so it's kind of nice to remind myself that citrus fruits are actually nice and wintry, perfect for a kitchen space or a living room space. It has a really subtle quality. It's not just like boom, lemon head in your mouth. It has like a little bit of a roundness, like I would say a round shoulder, not like a coziness and a slight herbaceous feeling. So it isn't just lemon, it's not just bergamot, it has like a rosemary quality. Just a hint, just a little base of like licorice -y, herbaceous earthiness at the very base and then this like blossomy plume of citrus. I love a kitchen scent that is just lemon. <laughs> so I think this will do really well in the kitchen. I think this makes a good talking point gift. That's also a skinstore.com um, option. Now let's talk about these two. These two are from DS and Durga and they both have breakfast in the name. So we have breakfast Leipzig and breakfast Highlands. I can't tell you how much I love Durga's, DS and Durga's um, website, their presence, their playlists on Spotify. They do everything in my mind that I would want to do if I ran a fragrance company. So you might know them from their own perfumes. They run a perfumery out of New York. This to me was one of those like, I haven't tried Dia Sandurga, I haven't tried them, I've subscribed to their emails, I care like about their presence and their brand and what they're doing, their visuals, their graphic design, all of that I'm like very into, but I've never pulled the trigger on any of their scents. Let me just read it to you because it's fantastic. Like Dia Sandurga, they have something right. Okay, Breakfast Highlands. I think this is probably one of my favorite candles ever, 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 but you have to like a tobacco note and you have to kind of enjoy a very heady, almost savory ham smell. So let me explain. It does describe itself as a fortifying meal amongst rolling heather hills, peaceful locks, and pure highland air. So it has this breakfast component, obviously, but the breakfast is not just like cereal and eggs and what we think of in the States. Um, it is like fortifying in the way that there's like a giant slab of bacon and maybe some eggs, sure. Um, but it has toast and citrus and oats, biscuits, hay as like top notes. Heart notes, they're saying scotch, marmalade, strong tea and smoked things. So that's where I think the tobacco scent to me is, is coming from. It's very smoky. 
Um, that's also where the bacon thought is coming from. I don't so much smell any like citrusiness, but the tea, the bitterness is there. And then the base notes, heather, honey, toast, and gorse. So the base notes do feel a little bit like mm, cozy, yum, but it's not like overly sweet. This is not a gourmand fragrance. Again, some people might think breakfast and think toast and waffles and syrup, but this is not gourmand. It doesn't taste like a breakfast waffle meal. It smells very much like you're outside with a tartan tablecloth and you're eating a big hearty egg breakfast um, with a lot of toast, wheat, smoked meats. Even not lighting this and having this by my bedside, because I love it by my bedside, I can smell little hints of that tobacco note. In comparison though, if you're like, ah, it's a bit too smoky, it sounds like, uh, to me, I would highly recommend its cousin, sister, whatever you want to call it. This is breakfast lipstick. Cafe Zimmerman, 1723. Um, I, I think they try to really transport you, uh, not only to a time, but a place. It has top, top notes of strong coffee, like Japanese coffee, almond kuchen, and pastries, buttery almond pastries. The heart notes actually say tobacco here and butter, and the base notes are leather upholstery, and fireplace. So yes, I think the smokiness here is far more in the base notes and it does have more of an ashen quality, like it's deeper but also lighter. Like it feels like after a fire, the light ashy quality. So it's quite an airy fragrance. It doesn't feel dense. The tobacco leaf is not so burnt. It's not just like smoky smoky everywhere. And the top notes really do feel a light butter pastry with a hint of coffee. I, I don't think if you gave this to me, I would be able to be like, hmm, Javanese coffee. I love coffee. And the more I smell it straight close to my nose, the more I'm picking up on the tobacco leaf. To me, this is like sitting in a leather armchair with a cup of coffee that was already made or it's being made in a different room and that might be like wafting in. I'm in a library and I'm looking forward to like an almond croissant like that. But you can feel the cold air in the room. Again, it's an airy feeling. And this is not as, a, as strong. It doesn't throw scent as it just sits there. I would say it's a lot more neutral. So this would probably appeal to a lot more people just because it has quiet blend of smells. It's not like I'm, oh, I walk in and I smell baked cookies. I don't walk in and I smell smoky, masculine, like strong, hearty breakfast. This is a really comfy gourmand. It's not sweet either. I think it's because the tobacco just kind of tamps that down. Gender neutral, um, but don't expect a sweet scent. These two I think are wonderful counterpoints. They also make great uh, conversation pieces. Diaz and Durga, you have, you have me at breakfast. <laughs> Before I go, I wanted to mention a couple of scents that are on my wish list, as well as a few um, that maybe we can strike up a conversation down in the chat about, because I'm curious what is on your scent wish list as well. First up, I really want to try Diptyque's limited edition Paris candle says it has like old library and like Paris stone accord. It smells like myrrh and it has really high ratings. It's about 105 US dollars, so it probably will never reach my home, which is fine, but I it's on a wish list for a reason, right? Replica by the fireplace. So Maison Margiela just came out with a candle for one of their more popular fragrances. This one I've had for years and you can see that I am loving it and I have continually loved it, that smokiness, but it has a deep gourmand, really kind of sweet. It smells like chestnuts roasting over a fire and it just envelops you in this like caramel coat. Um, so to me, this is a sweet smell with a little bit of smokiness. It is $62 um, and I, I just don't know how much I want this to be out projecting. It seems like a very concentrated scent. I'd be curious to see if anyone has bought the candle, what they think of it. That's where I get into like territories of scents come first and then they love people love the scent so much that brands come out with a candle. This was one instance where actually I finished the candle a lot sooner than I finished the fragrance with such a strong leather accord. This made a better candle and it was strong um, and this was expensive and I would never buy it again. 
um, but I thought this was an okay translation and actually worked better as a candle. I am not so certain that it would be the same for this. Same with Maison Louis Marie, number four Bois de Balancourt, and I have it in a deodorant, excuse like me showing you a gross deodorant top, but I actually don't like it as a deodorant. I've had it as a candle. I don't think I kept the glass. If you've smelled this before, I won't go into the scent profile, but it felt too one note throughout the house that it was almost too heady and strong. I haven't tried the oil. It is a clean fragrance, um, but I have tried the candle and now I've tried the deodorant. And honestly, I don't think the deodorant nor the candle works. So I'd be curious to see it in its like true perfume oil form. Scents don't always translate as they go. Um, was it Forever Mood? Yes, Jackie Ina's Forever Mood. She came out with a lot of scents under that brand at Sephora. You can get, you know, mini gift sets and I'm interested. There's woody, there's warm and spicy. Like this is kind of the realm that I love. She definitely has floral options. Um, but I would probably get, if I were shopping for more candles, which I am not, um, I would probably get the mini gift set. Forever Moods Trickery Candle, Whipped Butter, Caramelized Sugar, and Vanilla Bean. I'm there. I think that's basically, oh, nope, one more cereal candle. And it comes in this tin, yikes. It's just called cereal, and it makes me want to have that floral, fruit loopy, like almost fruity scent at home plus the nostalgic comfort of creamy milk on a winter day with a bowl of cereal and just like relive my childhood. I love it. I do like candles that have that little like wooden wick in them. These are not, the ones that I'm talking about after, I don't think you could necessarily find on skinstore.com, but do take a look. Uh, they do have a huge array of scents. They have even candles by Aesop. They have candles everywhere. <laughs> they have a lot and you can get 25% off with my code. Tell me down below what candle you are jonesing for or what type of style of candle you really go for that you just can't stay away from essentially. I have not tried any of Diptyque's like candles that are more popular. I think the Bay candle, they're po most popular. It has a berry accord. I just can't dive into that. This one I would not recommend. It was supposed to smell kind of like fig trees and fig leaves. It was too light and subtle to me, so I'm, I'm not even gonna address it. I am interested in some of what Dipti comes out with. I just love their creative direction and how they do their campaigns. Their new holiday gift set, they have one that is kind of birchy. They have one that's called Biscuit. So <laughs> I'm there. Those are the things that I wanna leave you with. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube. I have a couple of exciting videos still to come. Um, I am gonna film a November slash October favorites because I left you hanging at the end of summer. I am on Instagram, follow me at slowgaze because I am still tracking like outfits and everything with my daily kind of life. So if I'm not on YouTube, I am on Instagram, so go follow me over there. But basically, yeah, it's good to be back. I hope you have a wonderful and cozy summer slash winter wherever you are in the world. I will talk to you again soon. That was, you know, not, that was impromptu. That was not sponsored. That part was totally, totally non-contractual. That little kiss, I hope you caught it through the screen and then just like patted it onto your cheek a little, a little sugar. Bye.